What's going on, YouTube and comic book community? It's me, So Comics, and I'm bringing you a my weekly comic book haul, and I have some pops to show you that I got this week. So let's get started. Um, this week was Batman. Uh, what was it? I think it was 17th was Batman Day. But uh, where are they? These are not going to be in order, so, um, or no, was it, was it this week? I can't remember. Yeah, this week, whatever. So, I got two from my comic shop. I went in there, uh, this week, and he gave me two more, because I missed out. I didn't get to go, so he already gave me one copy. I think it's in here somewhere. You're going to see it. This is a mess. I don't know. So he gave me two more copies, because he still had some, so that was cool. I also went to my local Barnes & Nobles and picked up the uh, the other cover for it. Now, what sucks is that these all had like tons of spine ticks in them, so I grabbed two that had the least amount. And that's the, uh, that's the alternative cover. Pretty cool cover. Not bad. Um, the white one's pretty sweet, but kind of like this other one better. It's got a little more going on. Um, I picked up uh, All-Star Batman number two, jock cover. I picked up another one. I already have it. Uh, I picked this up for Doom, and uh, the Doom, and he already had it, so I'm going to hang on to it. It's always good to have some more jock, but if, he, if the Doom ends up does needing it, it's the Dooms. And then I picked up Trinity I've been talking about this book for a long time. Uh, I've been hyping uh, Mana Pull up real hard. Look at that cover. And then I got, of course, that was the variant. This is the regular cover. Look at how sweet that is. That is an awesome cover. And the artwork inside is just as good. Absolutely amazing cover. I picked up Raven, number one. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to get it. Uh, but I did anyways to give it a chance. The cover's okay. Uh, it's not fantastic, but it's not terrible. It's better than the Harley Quinn covers. Um, so yeah, look forward to digging into that, guys. Um, looks like I only got uh, Justice League number five. I only got the regular cover. I think the variant was the variant had did have Cyborg on it. If it had Cyborg on it, I passed because they were like the connectings and I didn't really like the way they looked. So I uh, just picked up the regular cover. Still a pretty sweet cover. Lots of stuff going on. Very excited. Uh, I also picked up Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 7. As you all know, I'm very into this series. It's an amazing series. Um... Look forward to number seven. Amazing series except for the annual. The annual, I don't know what the hell that was about. If you're going to get into the series, forget the annual ever existed. And then, I, of course, I got Black Hammer number three. Do I love this story a lot. This story is awesome. Um, it looks like these next few issues are kind of like origin stories of each character. Um... So this one looks like it's going to be a bar barbarian, barb alien. Um, and I got both covers. I think I'm not sure which one's the normal cover. I have no idea, but they're sweet. They're both awesome. Look at that one. Yes, yeah, starring barb alien warlord from Mars. So the last one was about um, the Golden Gale. This one's going to be a bar uh, Barbalian. Um, and I don't know who the next one's going to be about, but they're going to be about all the characters, um, which is sweet. Uh, and then they'll probably get more into the story. But this is a great book. If you haven't checked it out, please do. I highly recommend it. Um, I'm very excited about reading this. I picked up both covers because they're just amazing. Who doesn't love a dark... Who doesn't love a dark space cover? Look at that. Awesome cover. 
And then I picked up Superman. Who would have thought I would have been into Superman? He's not my favorite, um, but this story has been epic. Well, it's just awesome. It's it's. I don't get into Superman, but I've said it before. This story is really good and has got me into Superman. And I originally was picking them up for Kim because I didn't think I was going to have any interest. But it got me interested. And I read it and it's awesome. And I'm very excited for this one. I picked up, this is the regular. This is the variant. Um, the variant's pretty okay. It's a little boring, but the artwork's really good. And of course you've got Superman blasting off in the background. But, uh... Yeah, I kind of like that the barbed wire is like the Superman symbol. But I really like this cover. This cover <clears throat> this cover's really cool. I like the whole family on the front. Uh, yeah, it's really sweet. Great book. Highly recommend Rebirth's uh, Superman. And then I also picked up uh, Nightwing number 5. Night of the Monster Men Part 2 because uh, there's crossovers for the Monster Men series that's going on right now. Um, I didn't get the other cover. I was looking at them both. Sorry if I'm punching the mic with the books. Um, I was looking at them both and I was like, these are kind of almost the same cover, really. I mean, they both have this guy on the front. The other one had uh, this guy kind of like fighting Nightwing or Nightwing having like a losing edge to him or something and uh i like this one a little more this one was a little more creepy to me and uh i didn't i didn't particularly like the uh the other cover so i picked this one because i'm not going to give variants unless i i'm really in love with them you know um and then as you know i picked up batman number seven i didn't really like this cover i don't know what the hell's going on uh the normal covers have been really good, and it's not bad. It's just, I don't know, in Batman's face, he looks like he got stung by a bee. His face is huge. They all, they're all they all fat-facing. They all have, like, really, I don't know. They all look like they got stung by bees. Um, and the Tim Sale cover wasn't any better, so I didn't pick up the variant. But I did pick up two Batmans, um, both the same cover. I don't know. I hope the rest of the covers aren't like that. Um, and then if some of you remember uh, last week, uh, my shop didn't get any of the Detective Comics 940. Um, the Their distributor messed up and they ended up getting more uh, All-Star Batmans and they didn't get any. And so they threw in a copy of Detective Comics 940 and I bought it. Um... Because, I mean, the cover is awesome. It's a great story. I wasn't going to pass it up. That way I have an extra. Fantastic book. So I picked that up. And then I picked up Dr. Fate number 16. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the last book of the run. I'm not com I'm completely sure. Um, I haven't read it yet. But I have been uh, into this run since the start. It's been extremely slow, and uh, I figured we'd see a lot more Dr. Fate action, but it's been actually pretty boring. Would I recommend this series to somebody? No. Um, but it's a series that um, I've been getting from the start, so I want to finish the run. Um, do... Do I like Dr. Fate? Yes. Uh, and that's the main reason why I picked it up. It's because I like Dr. Fate. And it's just, it just has been slow. It's, you know, it's a new Dr. Fate. Um, he's learning how to do this. But it's feel like he's been learning far too long. And he's not really doing much. So, uh, like I said, if I, would I recommend it? No. Um. Would I pick it up if it was all the books were like a dollar? Maybe. Um, do I? Would I pick up the variant covers for it? The, there's a couple of the... the. 
I think it's issue number one. Issue one, I think it's one through five. Don't quote me. I don't know where it ends, but there's some early early books, early uh, issues, and the variant covers are awesome. Awesome. I think it's the first issue is like all black with like a matte. It's an all black book. I don't have it. All black book with, um, you know, the Dr. Fate helmet on the front, and it's just an awesome cover. Um, unfortunately, I think when it came out, it was like 20 bucks. Like, it wasn't even cover price. It was just an overpriced variant cover, but it's a sweet book. Um, I'd pick up the variants just for how cool the cover is. I wouldn't pick it up for the story. Um, and then I picked up this back issue. Um, I've been eyeing it for a while, and uh, I grabbed it because I, I really like the cover. So, um, this is Batman number 713. Really like the cover a lot. Um, so I picked it up. I saw it at my shop like last week, and I was like, oh, I need to, I need to snatch it up this time before it, it doesn't exist anymore. So let's get on to the pop, shall we? I'm sure a lot of you uh, pop heads out there—that's what I'm gonna call you—pop heads are waiting to see um, my pops that I got. So, let's see, let's see. So I picked up the Green Ranger from Barnes & Nobles. Um, he's not an exclusive or anything, but I do really love the Power Rangers. Um, I've seen the other Rangers a hundred times. Uh, you know, blue, black, yellow, I've seen them all. Um, I don't really see the Green Ranger too often. Um... And Kim actually said she saw the Red Ranger, which I'm going to probably go ahead and go get. Um, because I know he's pretty rare to find. And the Green Ranger, even though I got him for like $8, $9, uh, he's already going for a little bit more online. So um, you can't say no to the Green Ranger. And the thing is, is I said no when... Uh, it's pretty far down. But the Power Ranger series that I'm collecting right now, um, when... The first came out. It was with a zero issue, and um, they had a different. They had covers, tons of covers, and all of them were just. Uh, man, I wish I would have pulled it out for this conversation. But all of them, like each cover was like Blue Ranger, and it was like uh, a full cover with the Blue Ranger holding his helmet. And so they had it for blue, yellow, red, pink, black, and then they had. I think it was. I can't remember if it was one in twenty-five or one in fifty or. I can't remember what the number was, but they had a Green Ranger one and a White Ranger one. Uh, my store never got them because I, I wanted them. Nobody thought this book was going to be anything. Um, and I miss. I, well, I didn't miss it. There's no way I could have got the chance to get those books. My shop didn't get them. They didn't order them. They didn't think the book was going to be hot. And, I mean, go look at how much the Green Ranger... Um, just go look up Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Green Ranger, uh, Number Zero, Green Ranger, and White Ranger, and you'll throw up. Because they're going for ridiculous amounts of money, and I wish I would have had them. So, I wasn't going to miss the opportunity this time, and I got the Green Ranger. I'm not going to miss getting the Green Ranger a second time. Who doesn't like the Green Ranger? So. Gotta have the Green Ranger. And then Kim, these are surprises from Kim. Lovely Kim. Uh, she's been having a rough week, but she surprised me with these. Um, uh, she got me, uh, these are all exclusive, P, uh, previews exclusives. This is uh, previews exclusive Aquaman. Pretty cool. And previews exclusive Green Lantern. Pretty cool. And previews exclusive, The Flash. Really cool. Very happy. I was super excited she got them for me. And, uh, yeah, really cool. I got the whole set on the back. And, uh, yeah, that's my pops. Uh, I passed up on... I'm trying to think. I was at Barnes & Noble's and I put a couple pops back. And I'm trying to think which ones were they. 
I don't remember. Sorry, guys. I don't. I don't really. I just kind of turn the camera on and wing it. But uh, I know I put like two or three back that I had, and it's. I only put them back because the boxes were just kind of mangled a little bit. So I, I'm not gonna buy mangled boxes anymore. It's just unacceptable. Um, if they're not gonna sell them at a discount, I'm not gonna buy them. It's just. It's like my comic shop when they have books out on the books out on the shelf that are um, got a hundred spine ticks in there. It looks like they just crapped all over them and they're putting them for sale. I mean, I know there's nothing wrong with the book, but as a collector's standpoint, you shouldn't put damaged stuff out on the shelf. It should be marked down a little bit, but yeah, that's it for me, guys. I'm gonna have a couple more videos for you this week. I don't know if they're gonna if you're gonna see me in the same clothes, which means I recorded them back to back to back, or if I'm gonna record them tomorrow. Probably gonna record them tomorrow. Um, but I have a contest update. Nothing scary. I just kind of want to go over a few things and say thanks and uh, to the people who's already entered and kind of say their names to make sure that I've got everybody and uh, I've got some contests to enter this week. And I have some more videos, too. I have some um, random acts of kindness, I guess you would say, to open behind me. I've got one from my brother Freddy's uh, and one from the Doom. So I can't wait to open them. It's getting late, so I'll probably open them tomorrow. I'll probably record them tomorrow. Um, but look forward to more videos this week. And as always, everybody, be excellent to one another. And... Uh, Oh yeah, before I go, I wanted, there were some Halloween books that I was excited for this week, and I wasn't able to get them. Um, one of them being the the Treehouse of Horror, uh, the Simpsons one with the, with the Ghostbusters. Um, if anybody was able to get those, or they go to their shop and they're still there, uh, I would would not mind uh, getting one from you. Um, I'd, I'd pay for it in shipping, but uh, I was not able to get that cover. They just sold out immediately. And there was a couple others that, I think there was one that I just didn't get. Oh yeah, it was the Archie Digest. There was an Archie Digest that came out and it was, the cover was a pumpkin with Archie's face carved in it. Um, I don't know if that was a magazine or not, but uh, I would I would like that book as well. Um, so if anybody sees that, keep on the lookout and I will go ahead and just pay you for it. I don't, don't, don't eBay price me. I just want to pay for, you know, what your comic book store sold it to you. So if you want to be a brother or sister and um, find me these books, that'd be great. And, yeah, that'd be awesome because I, I couldn't find them. We didn't get the Archie one and the Treehouse of Horror one was just gone as soon as I got there. So, as always, everyone, like I said, be excellent to each other and I will see you more this week. Take care, guys.